Hey there, I whisper ASMR, playing up with the brand new game of like 2017, um, Kingdom Come. Charles the Fourth, King of Bohemia. So this is like. 18 of no. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. I think this is like 1400s, which when is like the Dark Ages. Died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people died in his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son. Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. Well, hold on. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. Ah, yeah. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical Sigismund. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate. Then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power disorder. for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army. Bohemia? Is that like French? That's French, I think. That's like the Bohemian Rhapsody and, my story begins. and the drinking of uh, wormwood, what's that called? Absinthe is a Bohemian thing. Because I think um, it's some part of France. I think it's northern France where the wormwood comes from. It's like the only place which is used in... Uh... So yeah, this is... Uh... Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's supposed to be this really friggin' immersive and... Uh... I call the. I mean, I could. I'm good with just I. Uh, you know, that all seems good. I just like having it on that. It's game and side tracking. Oh, that. You don't see people play with that as much. Scientific certain normal tool. Then he had read me. Oh, that's pretty. That's. I couldn't have said this. Recommend for players to familiar with the essentials of the combat. Oof. I'm going for normal mode. Wolves. I think that's the game designer. The early. Yeah, 1400s. The early 15th century is the time of turmoil in the Holy Roman Empire, which has flourished under the late Emperor Charles IV. The king's inactivity angered many of the nobility as well as his half brother, King Simonson of Hungary, to take drastic steps. Yeah. So, are we like a, a Ronin sort of kind of knight? A uh, knight for hire? A knight without a king or a knight recruited to fight? Oh. I gotta do a capture of Witcher 3, I think. But. This is cool. Kingdom Come Deliverance. 1403, yeah. 1400s, the 15th century.
Oh, that's beautiful. I remember there's this one guy in uh, the movie Pitch Black, part of the Riddick series there. And uh, there's this one moment just before he gets killed where he goes like, I should have died in France. This is France, right? Uh, he then says after that, I've never been to France. But it's like Beauty and the Beast, you know? Like, it's very... beautiful country. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? A blue-blooded idler. Wow. It looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. French women aren't the best women. Henry, get up now. She seems English. To Maybe I'm totally wrong about it all. Get up, or I'll come get you up, you slugger Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Hmm. Well, hmm. just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Oh, this is such a now cute get game. Up, you rogue. You rogue. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. <gasps> Shit, he made me yawn. Fuck. Just the idea of yawning makes you yawn. Stay so we already have a, morning. we already have a quest. Come on. Oh my god, okay. Character. By means of the first two choices in this dialogue, you will select your character's default characteristics. If you're not satisfied with them, not to worry. All characteristics can be further developed without limit. Oh my god, okay. I find Sarah what did you do last night? Chatting, dancing. I was with Bianca. I was working in the forge. Um let's say chatting. Mm, nothing much. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world and um well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope he didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Why would I be interested in third fighting? I was with Bianca. Okay, so I could double down on speech. I wouldn't mind. What is going on? You think he's teaching me sword fighting, don't you? What use would that be to me? Here, I'm not lying to you, ma'am. All right then, if you say so. I don't mean to pry, but you know your father takes a dim view of such things. I have my friend veneer. It's part angry. Go for 
Oh, sorry for being lost. <laughs> you need me to do anything, ma? Ah, uh, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's uh. your father needs helping with that sword. <sighs> Is father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzik. He's not as young as he was. Ratzik. You know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. It's it's a help. Good quality good. recording. That's he always has mom. his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. <laughs> it's looking like such a nice day. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. End dialogue. I'll leave it be, Mother. Mother. Usually, with dialogue, the there's a man, pattern here and there. Onto you one day soon. You've been courting that Bianca for months now. Why do you have to keep wasting your time with those two layabouts? They're nothing but trouble. No, oh, okay. Game si Oh, wow. Okay. First off, graphically speaking. Ah. Uh, Changes most advanced graphic settings. Okay, well, where is? Oh, yeah, motion blur off. Yeah, but that seems good. Save changes. Oh, it feels like it's missing frames here. Or maybe it's the friggin' field of view setting. Let's hit it with a medium. That was kind of a drastic change to the game there. Eh, it doesn't seem to be any. Oh god, that's. I feel like I'm controlling a puppet. There's like a momentum to eat. Hit that in your inventory. E to open. Oh, wow. They're going for that super realistic. I don't play many games like this. Um, Witcher was the only was the last one I remember playing like that. Had a bite to eat. Yeah. What? I picked up the friggin' apples, yeah. Oh, I see. He's got like. Oh, you know what it is? It's the mouse settings are too high. Ah, uh, control. Yeah, there we go. Okay. 
accept is E. Skip dialogue space. Okay. Ah, that's a bit better. you need power of persuasion to achieve your goals. So this is heavily dialogue based. When talking to people you can often choose what kind of impression you want to make. You can simply use speech which however is influenced by the reputation you have at that moment with the person you're talking to. In the Middle Ages, social status was paramount to the quality of your attire and how well groomed you were. Together with your reputation, can make a difference. If you look dangerous, people be afraid to cross you and be more willing to assign risky tasks to you. That's influenced mainly by your strength and de deterrent effect of your weapons and equipment. But other things also taken into account, such as blood stains on your clothes. You can sometimes rely on money to do the talking. You have to agree on a persuasive sum. Bribing people works in the same way as shopping, see trade, and haggling. Cool. Uh, in special cases, you can try any other skill, like horsemanship. It's not the only matter of persuasion that's important, but also the specific offer. Because sometimes it's not enough just to choose according to your highest characteristics. You have to really read what you're going to say. It's not the only manner of persuasion at this point. But also the specific, because sometimes it's not enough just to choose. Mm, okay. Meaning, play to the context. Different approaches work on different people. You won't immediate intimidate a tough brawler easily, and no matter how well you dress, you won't impress the nobility easily. That's because Henry's abilities aren't simply assigned a universal value, but compared with the abilities of his counterparts, you can see the values of the various abilities in the games under the corresponding icons. You can always see your own abilities. Your counterpart's abilities are visible to you if someone you know well of your skill of reading people. Okay. So that's interesting. It's not just about stats. The outcome is influenced by the factors. Your reputation, dirty, bleeding. You can't outdo the nimble tongue of a merchant. For example, you may want to poison a little first. And then it will be easier to persuade. Or if you poison him a little. Okay, this is gonna be a fun game. Or if you lead a card away from his friends, it'll be easier to scare. Okay, yeah. The level of your reputation with your counterparts. Henry. Talking. Status. Strength. Who knows what the card is? You can see his charisma is medium, his strength is higher than yours. Okay. I want to be ordered around. 
Sorry, Father. I was taking a stroll and lost track of time. Somehow I had a feeling I was seeing everything for the first time. <laughs> How, my boy? When are you going to get some sense? Anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. The pole chasing was the, the best way to do. I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. <sighs> yeah, that's the other thing. Kumesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Mm. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Mm. Not drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his ass. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Bang those nails into his Chamberlain at the castle oh. has a guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, crossbow. Got it. And ale. Stop off, off at the tavern. Anyway, to see that girl of yours. Bianca. Make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right. Sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now. I think Bianca wait. is a beautiful name. Every girl I've ever met that was named Bianca, I was always just like mm, smitten. And I think it was mostly because of the name. I was just like, oh. Like Banaka. Okay, so I can go to J for crest log, M for map. Yeah, we're just gonna change that because I am lazy. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, here we go. Oh, fuck off the cycle tabs. Caplock Toggle Run <laughs> Toggle Run with J. Okay. Save so changes, yes. Besides, so I can just hold shift. I don't, yeah, I need to toggle that as much as I need to. Like, what is, this is my menu? Oh my god. This is retardedly big sidekicks that have their own menu. <sighs> oh, this map, oh, this. <sighs> oh, this is hilarious. This is big. Charcoal by the ale. Well, I can hide certain things. So Fuck at him. Oh, he's such a cutie. I like the little green tunic. Clothing is armor. That's what video games taught me. Okay. This is why we couldn't use tap to get to this. Yeah, I don't need a cycle. Forging a sword for Sir Radzik, Father sent me. We're forging a sword. Father had them engraved in Sasau. 
Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see this. Just make sure you don't botch it. Mm -hmm. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Oh, he had it in his back. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tab. Mm. Certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Oh my god. I love that font though. And the little pictures. Oh, this game's so cute. Maintaining law and order in the medieval town was the job of the bailiff. From the 14th century onward, the function was taken over by the catch pool. Oh, okay. Uh, the night watchman, the guards on town, the catch pool, along the bailiff, the executioner, or their henchmen also carried out the punishment of transgressors. They were not however I would listen to this music all of the time. I used to live listen to medieval babes and they would sing uh you know what I mean, like the Renaissance fair style music. There's flies here. Hello, villager. No name. Okay. Now I see you. I hope it will go even better. Are you here? Discovered a charcoal burner. Good day, Henry. Hey, Pip. Do you want to learn something? No, I don't think so. Have you recovered from yesterday's <clears throat> great news? That was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. Oh Look god, he's got a Luke Skywalker complex. World. The world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. Like and a as it man. happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? I mean... Yes. Yeah? Alright, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Okay, um... It's what it... So the sword violation to charcoal, collect the debt from Christian. So he's over here. Well, let's start off with the sword fighting lessons. If I get up, cut up and bruised, I might be able to intimidate him better. So I get that I have stamina. I guess that works like, uh... Is the sun moving? Things you can't do in real life. Eh, it doesn't look like it. Stealth, if you want to sneak. Whether you're seen or not, depends on the light in your clothes. Whether you hear it depends on the movers and whether you're moving and your attire, especially footwear. This reminds me of Metal Gear Solid 5 and you can run punching sheep. You've discovered the so, combat arena. We can. I guess. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, oh. you can show me everything I've taught you so far. 
my final lesson of a series of lessons I never had. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. Alright, alright. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Ooh, there's five different sword fighting positions. Very good. Yeah. Now you're getting it. All right. All right. Now you're getting it. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Good. Good. Stupid stabby. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Okay. Good. Once again. Okay. Let's see. Oh god. Okay. Very good. Oh, so if I go back and forth between stabbing and poking. All right. That's enough. I'm I don't know about you, but I'm tired of first. Remember though. I'm comes a master hard. sword fighter overnight. No one becomes a master swordsman. Alright, now I can go take out C so I can go to B and then A. What happens if I run too hard? This gets super intense, that's all I. God be with you, God be with you. Oh, there's only one thing I want. My father sent me to get the coin for Owen for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Um... That must be paid. Pay you drunkard or debts must be paid. I know you. The best I can hope for. Wife ran off. Booze is dear these days. And you're as much use as a square wheel. <sighs> no wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt, and I can't leave here without something. If I had anything to give, I'd give it. But I've got nothing. So leave me in peace, all of you. And don't come back. Try to get the axe hammer. Ooh. Try to take back? Hmm. I mean, most people leave their axe with the wood pile. Is that the the hammer?
It's just rubbish in here. Hmm. A locked chest. I'll need a lockpick to get into that. Fritz might have one. Yeah, can we, uh, get up? Weird. Okay. There's the axe and hammer. What? Weird, okay. Um, meant to press this button. We have tabs to go through. You don't need tabs to go through that. I'm used to always having my inventory as tap, so that's how it was in the last game, and I changed it to that. Open inventory, basically, that's what I want. Um, there's no conflict. Lock on opponents. Oh, I guess it is comfort. Um, right? It's mass three. Normally it's for untargeting. Yeah, well, we'll just put that to cap lock. All right, well. Mother Nature. Greetings. <sighs> no, that's our food. Small blacksmiths. Carvers. Free chicken. I like how all the feathers just popped off of it too. Free cabbage. Alright, so...
I mean, if we put all of our stuff into there, maybe. There we go. I actually make a couple coin from it all. And this fresh chicken, too. But the cabbage is mine. Okay. So, check basket. Yeah. What's heck? Can we do something about the price? <clears throat> sure, why not? Okay, haggling works both ways. Whether you want to buy cheap or sell dear. You select the amount you want to pay or get WS and confirm with the trader. Well, then respond to your offer. If the answer is a refusal, you should make a counter from wait for your response. If the slider can't be moved in one direction or the other, it means either you or the trader does not have enough money. So what's this thing at the bottom, dragging up the haggling with the one offer after another will gradually try the trader's patience, eventually they'll drop the haggling completely. You can see how close you are getting to the point with the trader of the icon below. The more gold there is in the background, the closer the trader is to drop in the haggle. Every unsuccessful bout of haggling lowers your reputation with the trader. Hmm, okay. Agree? We're getting there. Just drop the price a bit more. Is this enough? A nice sum. Just lower your demands a little and we'll agree. Yeah, okay. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. All right. You can't be serious. Insulting our king. What insult? What insult? Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tartars and besiege Wittenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? Is he German? The is and the other guys kind of got like a... The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king. Mm. Because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts. Traitors. Now even the Pope God be with you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. So What's Henry going on here? Deutsche spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the Empire! <laughs> the Empire! I care about the Austrians. And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To have the Rosenberg in his capital. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? What is he? I have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? Too I, Matthew. Oh, well, there's Fritz. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. Stockades. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, 
It made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather touch it, to be honest. But, doing some tears all day. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for my father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Saratic sort. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? Oh, God. <clears throat> How much trouble do you think I'll get in? Oh, well. <laughs> Father can wait a while. <laughs> My words exact. I knew you would have This is the second time they said. Let's go. Well, I don't have money for the ale, so there's a possibility that I could. Welcome, Henry! Get in Fritz's huh? good nature. Oh. These drum beats there, it's reminding me of, uh. Monty Python. The. Wait! We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? Deutsch is in the tavern. Well, but maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go lure her away somehow. Why me? Why me? Because <laughs> you're the clever one. <laughs> yeah. Discuss the plan attack with your friends. They have the wife away. Deutsch's wife. I yeah. just went by the tavern and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exceptions, so I thought... God almighty! The fool! Next thing he'll start on about the Popes! He might have mentioned the Popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. Alright. There we go, and I got a free chicken out of it. Oh no no. This music. <laughs> the music of this game is 10 out of 10. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass. This is all good, clean, fun. <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillar. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund! Eat shit, Dodgers! You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, Hans, can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in the tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Horse Hans! I'll make those smites off your faces! Oh, oh those are a couple of the like to see you dry. What are you doing here? Spizek. Spizek. Hanging out with his proxy Deutsche. Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker! I'll make you pay for that. Oh, we're gonna do some hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oh god. Now here's the whole thing. Okay. Oh Jesus. Hook. Strong, slower hand strike to the head. Jab direct, blow to the face. F is for kick. Yeah, click is to switch the neck opponent. 
supposed to go? I'm from the catch pole with your friends. I went the wrong direction from them, didn't I? This is something I remember doing in uh, Witcher. so freaking cute.
Okay, well. I don't want to kill too many of these sheep, but seriously. Enough is enough. Okay. Um. My life is a failure, and everything I try at is disappointment. Greetings, Henry. But at least they call me by name. Oh, wait, no, this is not. Meet the lads at Kunch's. Oh. Nope. Yep. God save you, Henry. Yell and pick. We sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? Old bastard didn't stand a chance. Oh, I got a little Truth, scuffed. But I hands will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us if they're in a bit of dawn? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes them. Anyway, nice job at the Deutsches. Never a dull moment with you lot. Fritz, talk to me, Fritz. Stop trying to ignore me. I feel like I could punch enough chickens to buy the L, maybe. I love how the feathers pop off. Uh, Alright. Huh? Where are these guys even going to? heads when they talked in real life. Could you design something that would do that? Yes, you actually could with text to s was it speech to text software and some sort of thinking LED projector. Are they going to the bar? Oh. Nope, that's a private area. Yeah, I did this in Witcher as well. Oh. 
someone stole and killed all your chickens. Don't know who that could be. Alright. Stop thief. No, nothing. No one. God save. You too, handsome. What brings you here? You do. Just there. What else could I expect from a village lout? <laughs> what will it be then, Ragamuffin? Uh. I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from your cellar. <laughs> but of course. A cool one. You are? Thanks. It's a me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Cool. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Mania. I suppose. He's a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy if he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. How? I've got something special for you. Is that so? <laughs> now what would that be? Your favorite, Sabir Schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you thank me properly later. You bet I will. Game says automatically at important moments or requests. To save it immediately. Now you sleep in your own bed. Okay. To save a game immediately, you drink save your snaps. That's weird. Lord Almighty, has something happened to you? Did someone steal your fancy clothes?
Oh, so if I didn't go through and shit, I could have maybe stole back stuff. Maybe next time I play, I will do that. Oh, but let's sell those chickens, like, like in a very dramatic way. I must sell these chickens. There's it's grocery. Jesus Christ, your clothes! Were you assaulted? Damn bandits! May they burn in hell! At basket. I'll get two and a half gold back. So what is it you need? There we go. A little bit of gold. Better than no gold. Much for reputation yet. Both yeah, the outside, you, want. Have you got everything I wanted. I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Wonderful. Let's have it then, son. Well done. And I only came back. Right. Slightly beaten. The kind of job the master and Sasal did for us. Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. This will be the finest, finest sword, sword I've ever made. Ever made. Have you got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. Neat. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. I was here with the catch pole earlier. It was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? Uh, Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the king. He got what he deserved. He got what he deserved. deserved. You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. It's interesting that you don't get to design have this conversation again. your character. Like so most of these right games to let do. Speak Ill of our king. It's Boy, actually a story, like Witcher. So Deutsch spouts rubbish in war. You turn into a common thug. Mm -hmm. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. This is 
this game really is trying to so emphasize right, we'll do power the grip. of dialogue over violence, which is... I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. It's kind of uh, the Christian principle, I guess you'd say. Even though these were violent times and they were all friggin' Christians or whatever. Do it. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Hmm. I love watching sword forging. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? I had my reasons, Alan. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? You think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. Well, that's sad. That's very sad. How's it going? I don't know. Give it here. And we'll put it all together. Pink, bonk, pink, bonk. One of the finest swords. Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Henry, are you all right? <laughs> That's uh that's a weird Okay, anyways trunk is right here. is it to pick up apples in real life? I mean, there's a success rate, but I don't think the task in and of itself is. Here are those nails you want. Oh, potential so love the quest. Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering, will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. This sword is truly beautiful. The model first speaking was, oh, yeah, he does. 
fine lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. So I guess he wrapped leather around the wooden uh, handle. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsman. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Sir, what good is a sword to a commoner? Try it. <laughs> you still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who Perhaps. knows what the future holds for each of us? I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work. Very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. <laughs> How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, Sir Isfah. Have a safe journey to Sasa. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. Talk as if you've seen it happen. Mm. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits. This it story is head on your shoulders. beautiful. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by mm. the other side. Mm. So do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Me. <laughs> you have to keep going on about it. Then you've no need to learn swordplay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> a messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Everything 
from the trunk, so I'm good to go. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sorette. If anything happens, we'll take care of you. He owes me. I already took everything cool. I don't know what? It's an empty Wow, this actually stole away my agency from going with my father. Quickly! We have to close the gates! Move! Come on, I mean, we're I could have gotten to the Move in, people! Gates. Come on! We're running Come out of time! On. Oh, Henry! Thank God! Get inside quick! We have to shut the gates! Come running, people! Come on! Mind this for me. Are you mad? You can't go back! <sighs> Okay, alright, well maybe maybe the game will give me more choice in the future, or maybe this is just an elaborate sword fighting game. Oh, uh, that's all this is. I understand now. Yeah, I don't ever fuck with the blacksmith. I'm just saying. This guy who's job and duty it is to beat as much as possible. My ancestors were blacksmiths. The, the, uh, and I'll tell you what. My lineage is from one that is meant to grow fucking strong. Chink. God, you're actually doing a, a great duty here. Okay. That's just kind of saying that was your destiny. Just had to give him the sword, that was. Run. Yep. Could do with a bite to eat. Oh god, it's so weird that he says that now, of all time. What's that? You can whistle for her as it comes to you. Oh, boy, the bites it fresh and have dice in the mouth. Yo! Puppy chop on me ass! Lad like you has no chance to defeat the fears of gunsmen. Better run and save your skin. I thought I had a sword. I guess I have to like equip the sword. Inventory weapons. 
Oh, I... I have a quest item of this sort. There we go. Okay, okay. Yeah. Great game. See us next time.